So I have imported my new swing attack. Oh, yeah, also the hammer's in the game. Does not match our character at all, but that's fine. It's also too small. So that one should work fine. Now we're going to, first off, we're going to add to our animation blueprint, actually. And we're going to, actually, no, we don't, we don't need to add to this. We can just have it as its own animation. As its own, uh, we're going to make another blueprint, actually. Another animation blueprint for our idle skeleton. We'll just do this ABP underscore attack. And this one will just be, I don't know why it always does that be like this and the only thing it's gonna have is its attack the only thing it's gonna have or sorry it's a uh, first off you need to have the idle state jeez really messing up state idle and then going to add that attack so, bring the idle in, connect them, compile, <coughs> and then we're going to add a variable. We're just going to call it uh, can sw swing. And, whoops, going to go in here, do the same thing that we've done a few times now. Go back in here, can swing, get not boolean connect that compile now that we have this sorry now that we have this we can so I'll get rid of that guy go into our sentinel go to our event graph now here comes our code. So left mouse button. Whenever the lowest left mouse button is pressed, that's going to be our attack button. It's going to cast to attack our blueprint for attack. We're going to get our anim instance. And we're going to set can or set, I already forgot what I called it, wrong one, did it again, can swing, so we'll get our set can swing, make that true, connect that, and what it's going to do Wait, one minute. Open up what I got for this guy. Oh yes. So I didn't I'm not gonna do the same thing I did with it with uh, my other character because it's not very smart, honestly. But we're gonna go up here and we're gonna add a movement lock so our character can't move. So what I did over here is I had a I added a variable called movement lock and if that was false then they could move. I did that with both of these and I first added it over here. So if I press if left if the left mouse button is pressed then I can't move. I'm stuck in my uh my attacking animation. So we're going to do that again over here. So we're going to add a branch. Move that over. And our condition is going to be, well, we have to make the variable first. So we're going to add attacking. We're going to get that. Oh, wait, sorry. We're going to delete that. Make another one. And we're going to call it uh, movement. 
lock because you might not only use this for one thing because I found it pretty useful so we're just going to copy that oh when it's false make sure you do it false I'm going to copy these with control put it down here connect this to that and we should be good to go so now we're going to go do our attack. So when this is pressed, we're going to set movement lock to true. So we cannot move. When it's released, I'm going to uncheck movement lock. And we're just going to copy these, put them down here. Do the same thing. Make sure you connect these. These a little further, little further down. Uncheck can swing, and see what happens. I forgot to add the animation. I think. Yep. Jeez, oh, I don't know. Why I keep doing that. Okay. So. Movement lock, can swing. One minute. 